Ladies and gentlemen, this is my soul farming run in Dark Souls. Now, before you even start doing this run for farming souls, you actually need the Silver Serpent Ring. The Silver Serpent Ring is located down in the catacombs by the in the Tomb of the Giants. As you can see here, I'm not over level, I'm a pretty low level here. Uh, so level 15, I believe. Now, what you gotta do is go down to the catacombs right here. And then you can actually do this already at the beginning of the game. It's a little bit risky, it's a suicide run, but it's definitely worth it. The Silver Serpent Ring increases the souls you get from enemies by 20%, which is well worth it. Now we do a tricky jump here from that bridge to that bridge, and from this bridge down to the next platform down here. Now I'm just gonna watch out for this exploding skull, and then I'm gonna do this drop right here. This will get you down immediately to the boss room. Uh, you just gotta be careful down here for the pinwheel skeleton, they're a real pain in the ass to deal with. So you just jump and just go, go, go. And right here is the boss room with this, the pinwheel boss room. Now this boss is perhaps one of the easiest bosses in the game. He has like the lowest HP of them all. You can kill him already at the start of the game. Now I'm at the Tom of the Giants. I'm just gonna put this, uh, this hat on so you can see what's going on. Now there's two drops here that you need to be careful for. Uh, this one, straight on the skeleton, do a fall attack. It'll usually stun him, which is good enough. We'll give you enough time to do this next drop right here. And then you can just continue off uh, amongst the next of the middle level. Now the skeleton dogs, you want to watch out for those guys. Those are really mean. Now here is an arching giant skeleton. Uh, I'm going to kill him. You don't have to kill him. I just do it because I'm showing you slow and easy where everything is. By this corpse, right by this corpse, you want to drop down right here. You can't see that one, but it's right there. And from here, you just continue on along the path. There is a trap with skeleton towers, so you just grab the silver serpent ring, which is located right on that corpse. Right there is the, uh, where the ring is located. I'm just going to finish these off with a Primacy's Bill. So that's the ring where you actually need to do this farming run. So here is the actual soul farming run. It's in on Orlando. Now you're going to be killing two Royal Sentinels, two regular Sentinels, and 13 Silver Knights. This is going to sum up to a total whopping of 30,000 souls. And it's going to take about 8 minutes, this run. Now, the first thing you want to start with is actually buffing up a weapon so you can deal a lot of heavy damage to these guys. Par within, gold pine resin, whatever suits your boat. Um, just make sure you can deal a lot of damage. Just hit them from the back and you'll be fine here. I see I got a good chunk of his life just on that hit. And he does that annoying spell. And just hit them from the back and you'll be fine. Next up is the annoying arrow uh, silver knight up here. And since you are already buffed, you can actually take him out in a couple of few hits. Um, and after you take him out, you can actually do a drop plunging attack right on this settle here. And you can actually take him out in one hit if you're lucky. I got a big chunk out of his life, but uh, unfortunately didn't kill entirely. So after taking him out, you go for the, royal the regular sentinels right here. Um, sometimes they drop titanite chunks, which is a nice addition. Um, as for these two guys, also, um, they, they haven't aggroed yet, so try to take that into your advantage. I just toss a Pyromancy Fireball on him and try to, um, take him out, finish him off right there. I got hit here twice, fortunately. Just gonna speed that up right here. And, um, yeah, just always get behind them and you'll be able to get rid of them in no time. Now, next up are the Silver Knights the remaining 12 of them. And the reason why I really like this run is because it actually practice your parrying skills with them. You, you're you honing your parrying skills, which is something I consider to be important for on Orlando. It makes this map so much easier. So uh, I'm parrying these two uh, Spear Knights right here. And um, it's really not that difficult once you get the hang of it. Um, you can't go and backstab these guys. They've intentionally designed them so that they have a very wide arc. So you can't go behind them and backstab them. The, the sword wielding knights is a lot easier to parry. And again, uh, I implore you to do this run because it helps you so much when it comes to honing your parrying skills. Um, so that on Orlando becomes so much easier once you know how to parry these guys. 
I think it's like the only way that you can actually deal with these guys in an easy and uh, hassle-free way. Now I go up the stairs here and take out the Spear Knight right here. And again, not so difficult to parry. Then next is the arrow wielding um, Spear Knight here. So just dodge those arrows. And uh, you can sometimes get behind this guy and backstab him while he's uh, switching out weapons, but I, I prefer to just parry him. Now the next is the room filled with Silver Knight, there's three of them. So what you want to do is you want to have a ranged weapon, anything goes. I used a Pyromancy Fireball here, just lure him out. Um, it's um, good enough, just, just to get him out, it doesn't necessarily have to do damage, just get him out of there. So you can just parry him and um, finish him off one at a time. And then go for the next two ones inside this room, which are also sword wielding. And like I said, it's it's good to practice the parry on these guys. It's really easy. You want to get a weapon that can actually kill them in one hit in a repost. And uh, most weapons by now uh, you should have. If you're having problems finding a weapon that can actually um, kill them in one hit on the repost, the reinforced club or the hor and the hornet ring actually helps a lot as well. If you do not have a weapon, it'll buff up a lot for that critical damage. Now next up is this uh, this arrow knight here. And, you, and this guy, you can actually easily get behind him and backstab him. It's really not that hard. And finally, there is one last knight down the corridor there. And that's the 13th and last silver knight that you're going to kill. So that was my farming run. Uh, this farming run gives you 30,000 souls in a couple of minutes. And you can also buy Twinkling Tetanite here. So it's a pretty good Twinkling Tetanite farming run as well that you can get rid of. So yeah, uh, I haven't seen anyone posting this one. There's my stats if you want to interested in my character. So yeah, that was the soul farming run for Dark Souls. That's the one I recommend and the one I use. So yeah, that'll be our. Cheers.